So that was a little hairy, uh, but it worked just fine. I only lost to him and now to you. Him? <laughs> okay, buddy. I don't remember, do we fight Red in this? Who do we fight next? You defeated all eight. You've got the right to earn the final trainer in the Kanto Gym Leader Castle. Oh, we do fight Red. Sweet. Okay, cool. Yeah, because there's one more trainer, uh, I remember, uh, outside of Red. So I didn't actually remember if we fought him or not. Although it would have felt really weird if we didn't. Well, uh, like, in our, we just beat Red and Crystal. Let's see if we can beat him here in Pokemon Stadium as well. He's got quite a bit of a different team. Quite a, quite a different team. Why? Why would you make the different team? His team is consistent. Why would you do this? Well, whatever, it'll work, I guess. Uh, instead of a Pikachu, he has Jolteon. Instead of Snorlax, he has Tauros. Uh, instead of the three Kanto starters, he has the three Johto starters. And instead of Espeon, he has Scizor. Okay, sure, sure, why not? Um, well, Lady Wu is good against every starter. Um, so Lady Wu's a, probably a pretty good choice here. Let's see, Zog would be good against Typhlosion, Jolteon, Scizor, Tauros, just generally speaking. Nothing it could really do against the Meganium or the Feraligator, though. Um, let's see, Kit uh, would be good against the Typhlosion, the Meganium. It would have a super effective move against Feraligator, be good against the Jolteon, could be good against the Scizor, be neutral against the Tauros. So Kit actually sounds like they'd be a pretty good choice here. Uh, I might bring in the exact same team I fought Blue with, uh, but I think I'm going to start with Kit. Lady Wu is good against all of these starters. Uh, neutral against the Tauros. Thunderbolt would be super neutral against the Scizor. I wouldn't really have anything super effective against the Jolteon, but it also wouldn't be super effective against me. We'd just be neutral against each other. Or, well, I definitely want to bring in Zog. I'm considering, though, do I want to bring in Rouge instead? Rouge would not be great against the Jolteon. And I wouldn't, and I wouldn't be able to poison the Scizor. But I'd be able to do toxic strats against everything else. Fly would be super effective against the Magna Meganium. Um... Now, this would mean I wouldn't have anyone who'd be particularly good against the Feraligator, which could be a problem. So I should probably just bring in Lady Wu for that Feraligator. Zog would be great against the Jolteon and the Typhlosion. Uh, Kit is great against the Meganium and the Typhlosion <laughs> and the Jolteon, I guess. Um, but they're both weak to the Feraligator. So yeah, I should probably just bring in Lady Wu bringing the exact same team I did before, just a little bit shaken up. Finally, the last battle. Red, the last one. The Cup of Trainers is the opponent. How will the challenger take on a wily veteran who has prevailed through hundreds of battles? Victory is within sight. Go for it. Well, you heard the announcer. Let's go for it. What is he starting with? His own Typhlosion. Typhlosion v Typhlosion. He has more health than I do, but he's also, you know, five levels over me. All right, well, we're going straight for that Earthquake. Who's faster? He's... Dig? Trey. Okay, he's switching. I was wondering if he was gonna switch. He doesn't have anyone... Okay, yeah, he brought in the Feraligator. I was gonna say, he didn't bring in anyone with Fly, so this Earthquake will work. It won't be super effective anymore. Yeah, okay. Okay, uh, Lady Wu it is. Now, for Alligator is a better physical attacker than a special attacker, but a special attack definitely ain't bad. So he'll probably go for a water move here, and it'll probably hurt. Oh, 
Yeah, not that bad. Okay. So we're about even in terms of damage. Let's go for that Thunderbolt. Yeah, Slash. Kind of figured. This is going to hurt quite a bit. Luckily, he didn't get a crit. Uh, but this Thunderbolt should hurt more. I don't think it'll one-shot him. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely in two-shot range for this guy. Cool. Uh, he also doesn't have anyone that would... He also doesn't have any ground types, so... Even if he did switch there, Thunderbolt would still do something, no matter who he switched to. He's got plenty of people that Thunderbolt wouldn't do a lot to, but no one that would outright resist it. Just like with Earthquake. Okay. Let's see what else he's got here. Tauros. Okay, I was wondering if he just brought all three starters. That would have been pretty cool, honestly. I'm gonna Thunder Wave this thing right off the bat. He's probably faster than me. Yeah, he's faster than me and he's got Earthquake. So, this will probably just take out Lady Wu. Yeah, I kind of figured. Okay. I just realized everyone I brought is weak to Earthquake. Well, we're gonna bring in Zog. Uh, Zog has the most defense out of the team, and Zog can heal himself if needed. Alright, so we'll go for a Rock Slide. Rock Slide can miss. Yeah, I didn't figure the Taurus was going to be faster. Oh, that did way more damage than I thought it would. Alright, we'll go for the Rock Slide, and hopefully this just does a shit ton of damage. <laughs> yeah, luckily it didn't miss. It did not do as much damage as I was hoping it would. I'll heal a little bit with Leftovers, but it won't... I could rest after this, but would that actually help me? Because then I have two turns before I wake up. Um, let's see, because he would do an Earthquake. I would rest. Then he'd Earthquake, Earthquake. I'd wake up. I would just be... Hmm. I don't think it's worth it to rest. I don't think it. W I don't think it's worth it. I'd either have to just continue. Well, no, I could rest my way as long as he doesn't get a crit. I could literally wear out all of his earthquakes. The hasn't a command. The command I might just base. do that. I could just outrest his earthquakes as long as he doesn't crit. And earthquake is the most dangerous thing he's got. So. Like, this... I don't like this tactic. But it might be the thing I need to do here. This is what? Earthquake 4? So did 1, 2, 3... Yeah, I think this is 4. And then... I will sleep here. Oh, wait. No, no. I mean, this definitely stalled out more of the Earthquakes, but I won't be able to completely stall it out because I won't wake up on this turn. Yeah, I should have just hit him. I should have just hit him. That was stupid of me. Yeah, because he's going to take me out here. Like, I stalled out more of his Earthquakes, but I definitely wasn't stalling out all of them. I mismathed that in my head. That Yeah, that was stupid. We're probably losing this uh, because I've... Didn't factor in that Tauros would probably have Earthquake, but of course he has Earthquake. I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> and Tauros is super fast. So, Kit would probably... Or not Kit. Um, Rouge. Should have brought in Rouge. Okay, yeah, we're probably going to lose this, uh, but then we can just fight him again. Yeah, and he got a crit too, so that's going to one-shot. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, okay. I mean, the entire gym leader castle was a sweep, so... Honestly, it's about time we lost one of these. And if we're gonna lose, against red is a good one to lose against. Alright, fair enough. Well, we'll just re-enter. I think what I'm gonna do... Yeah, we're... Gonna use the same team again. I think that's fine. I think I just need to bring in a different set. Um, 
I like Kit. I think Kit is generally good here. Um, but with the knowledge of Earthquake on that Tauros, uh, I think Rouge is a better way to go. In just in general. Now, Jolteon is a problem for Rouge. But I can switch out of that. Uh, so, that being said, who do I want to start with? Probably Lady Wu in this case. Or is it better to bring in Sesso? Sesso has Flamethrower, which would be good against the Sizor. Psychic for everything else. Flamethrower also for the Meganium. Um, water types for Typhlosion. Wouldn't have any, still wouldn't have an answer for for alligator though, and that's the that's the real kicker. So I think yeah, Lady Wu, uh, Rouge and Zog, I think are probably the probably the better way to go here. So let's try that. Did you did the hey, hey. All right, this will give me a 50-50. Hyper Beam. All right, well, should have done the Confuse Ray. Yeah, I should have done the Confuse Ray. Because the Confuse Ray would continue after the Attract. I always just feel like Attract is stronger. I'm actually going to pull out Lady Wu here. He's going to have to recharge on this turn. So that will give me a chance to paralyze him. And I think that is going to help a lot. So we're going to paralyze him on this turn. <laughs> yeah, he's got to recharge. Since I can't poison him anyway, might as well get a status on him. And this will make him slower than me, uh, which I think is going to help a lot. Now we're going to Thunderbolt, now that we're faster than him. He still has Earthquake and Headbutt and whatever, uh, but now we can actually start doing some damage. Okay, he is going for Earthquake this time, as opposed to Headbutt. It's like he knew I was switching, which is definitely something the computer does on round two, uh, which is... Another reason why I have no desire to do round two. <laughs> he must have the Quick Claw. Well, I guess that tells us what his item is. Yeah, we're just not getting good luck here. So we'll be asleep on this turn. Yeah, we are just not getting good luck. And now his attack's gone up. He's getting good luck. I'll wake up on this turn. Um, I could go for another rest and just keep trying this, but it's just not working out. I think I'd rather go for the rock slide and see if I can flinch him. Am I not waking up this turn? I thought I woke up... I thought I'm supposed to wake up after two turns with rest. That's how it works? Why am I suddenly sleeping for three turns instead of two? What? What was that? I'm confused. I'm confused at what happened. There. But I guess it didn't matter either way, because he took me out. Okay. Well... I don't have a good counter for Jolteon in general. Jolteon is super quick. My other super quick person is weak to electricity. Uh, so hopefully he just misses this thunder. Uh, if he doesn't, Kit's going down. He did not. Man, they are getting great rolls on everything. And I am really, really not. Okay, well. Well, we'll go for another waterfall. I think this Jolteon is going to one is just going to sweep uh, my team, frankly, because it's not missing a single one of these thunders. I'm pretty sure this Jolteon is just going to sweep my entire team. Um, yeah, in fact, yeah, we'll pull out Rouge. I'm just going to quit because uh, clearly this isn't going to work. <laughs> Yeah, we're just gonna run. This clearly isn't gonna work. And this Earthquake from Zog will do a lot more, just because Zog has a lot of attack. 
In fact, it was almost a one-shot, but not quite. Great. All right, um, we'll go for a crunch. He's gonna go for another thunder. Yep, there we go. Oh, he got a crit. He got a crit there. Uh, great. Thanks, game. Thanks for that. The only person on my team that will outspeed him is Rouge. Um, and Thunder will still hit me if I fly. So I'm going to bring out Rouge and try for Confuse Ray, and hopefully he takes himself out, because that's the only way that my team will take this guy out. So we'll go for a Confuse Ray, and hopefully he just takes himself out. Okay, he is faster. He is faster than everyone on my team. Okay. Okay, we've lost this one too. Uh, I guess I'll go for a Toxic just in case whatever he does misses. Okay, Thunder Punch. Fair enough. So that's not going to miss. It's 100 accuracy. All right. I mean, I, I'm dead either way, no matter what I do here. I guess I could have used Rest to try and stall out more Giga Drains. Because uh, he used four of his Giga Drains. So he'll have one more that he can use. Yeah, we've we've lost this because there's no way I'm gonna I can't take a hit from Tauros now. So it doesn't matter what I have <laughs> if I manage to take out the Meganium. Because I can't take a hit from the Tauros. He's confused no more. Okay, this headbutt will finish me off. And I don't think he'll take poison damage because he took me out there. Okay. Uh Zog. Because Zog can actually tank an earthquake. Oh, that is so, so aggravating. I got so far and just, I'm losing this because I'm getting terrible, terrible luck. Yeah, yeah. If I had gotten a critical at any point there, I might've been able to win that, but I haven't gotten a single crit uh, in any of these runs against Red. So <laughs> he's definitely gotten crits against me. Maybe I should have gone for the Confuse Ray to hopefully get him to hit himself first, but... Miracle Berry. All right, well, now we know what his item is, and he does have Blizzard. Okay. 80 accuracy. Still, still worked. I think we've lost. I think we've just lost this already. Um, so I'm just going to, you know, pull out whatever and then just quit, because I'm pretty sure we've already lost this. Okay, so rather than using the Register team, let's try using just my Crystal team instead. Um, these guys are all exactly the same, except they're a little bit higher level, and Lady Wu does not have Ice Beam anymore, she has Flash. Uh, otherwise, they're exactly the same. Zog might have gotten like one or two battles extra, so he might have a tiny bit more stat experience, but it won't be anything significant, so Zog really won't be any different. But everyone else has a couple of levels up, so who knows? Maybe that'll make the difference. Um, that being said, though, I think it's still going to be Zog, Rouge, and I guess Lady Wu. That for alligator, I really just don't have any answer for it other than Lady Wu. The Sizor is a real problem when I bring in this particular team. Um, the Jolteon's a problem no matter what, so <laughs> doesn't really matter. Um, but uh, yeah, I have to have someone that can deal with Earthquake. If I bring in Kit instead of Rouge, then Tauros will just one sweep, one shot sweep the entire like team. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, cool. That this is working. This is working. I don't know why it's working, but it is, and I love it. All right, we're gonna go for the Toxic just to get some ongoing damage on this guy. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Hyper Beam, all right. This didn't one-shot me before, but I think he got a crit that time. Yeah, he got a crit that time. Um, I knew that because he had his text box appear. Okay, 
Well, he's going to have to recharge. I'm going to bring in Zog. I can't paralyze him because he's poisoned. Uh, but I can bring in Zog to hit him here while he has to recharge. He'll get hit by the poison as well. Between Toxic and my second Earthquake, I think he should go down here. He got his own crit. Okay. So he's turned, he's turned the luck around a little bit here, but I think this Earthquake will finish him. I hope. I really hope it will. No! Four? Four HP? Really, game? Really? Crap. And if he takes me out, then he doesn't get damaged by the Toxic. All right, we'll switch into Lady Wu. Lady Wu can hopefully tank one hit, as long as he doesn't get another crit, and then he'll go down to the Poison. I'll have two Pokemon that are really low on HP, which will suck. But hopefully they can deal with his last dude. We were off to such a good start. We had so a critical. God damn it. So, yeah, we lost. We have lost because he will take me out with his next attack. Man, we had such a good start, too. Oh, oh that's, that's, that's just terrible. That is just absolutely terrible. Damage range left him with 4 HP, and he's gotten 2 crits in a row. Ugh. Man, you hate to see it. The really unfortunate thing with uh, with this battle is there's nothing I can really be doing differently. It's just I have to keep trying and hoping that the luck is on my side. That's the only thing I can do. I can't grind. I mean, it won't it won't do anything. Uh, he will always be at my level. So it, okay, well we're off to a good start again. I don't think I. Hopefully I get a crit. I really, that would be really nice, but... Okay, uh, so we're off to the good start again. Cool, cool. Hopefully it goes better this time. Um, did I get the RNG to be rigged now or something? What the heck? All right, whatever, I'll take it. Um, and he's going straight for the Tauros again. So he'll go for the Earthquake, and I'll... This is going exactly like the previous attempt so far. That has me worried, because the previous attempt ended with two crits in a row. I really hope this doesn't end up exactly like the same thing, and there's, like, actual RNG's tracks that I got somehow set in, like, a seed for. Because that would be... Stupid. It would be stupid, is what it would be. Okay. Actually, I'm going to fly. He's going to use Hyper Beam. So I'll dodge the Hyper Beam. Um, and then come down on the turn that where he's going to uh, be recharging. Don't know why I didn't think of this before. Probably because I was trying to set things up so that a different Pokemon could take this guy out, because Rouge really isn't going to do a whole heck of a lot to him. No, because he didn't miss, because he missed instead of hit, therefore it... Okay, yeah, duh, that's, that's why. Alright, well, we'll do a Confuse Ray. Now he has to recharge. If he misses, he doesn't have to recharge. Duh. And he won't do it again, he'll just go for Headbutt instead. Okay, um, so I could try and set up a Toxic. I think I would rather... Um... So I'll go for the Attract. Uh, just to give him more dice rolls he has to deal with. I think I would rather... Uh... Just be able to paralyze this guy, though. So we'll go for a fly. Yeah, the toxic overall would do more damage, but I think I would rather uh, try and, you know, get this guy paralyzed if I go down to another hyper beam or something. I don't know if you'd use another Hyper Beam or if you would just use a Headbutt. That was a 
Or maybe I'll be able to take him down with a combination of confusion and flight. That's entirely possible as well. I'm going to reconfuse him just in case I go down here. At least that way confusion would carry over. Yes. Yes, I don't have any confidence that Rouge will actually be able to win this. This game has given me zero indication that I should have any confidence that uh, things will go my way. It's going my way so far. But the game has not given me any indication that it should. <laughs> or that I think it should. Or should think it should. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he's not gotten actually gotten a single attack off uh, since that hyper beam, which is cool. And this fly will finish him off, I think. Okay. All right. You know what? Things are going well. Things are going well. I think I jinxed it last time, but he's got one last Pokemon. I've got Rouge who's damaged, and everyone else has full HP. Typhlosion I can deal with. Typhlosion I can deal with. Fantastic. Well, Confuse Ray right off the bat. Just to make sure that he's, you know, confused for whoever goes out next. He'll try and do a Thunder Punch. We'll see if he succeeds. Yeah, he's going to succeed. This will take out Rouge. Okay, there we go. So Rouge is going to go down here. Uh, I'm going to bring in Kit. I'm going to bring in Kit and do Earthquake. Because he'll either do Dig or he'll do Thunder Punch. And I'm just going to keep Earthquaking no matter what. He's still faster than me. Makes sense. The worst thing that could happen is he could paralyze me. If I don't manage to take him down with Kit, then I'll take him down with Zog. This is his last Pokemon. We are actually going to win this this time. I've been at this for most of my half hour and a half recording session has been this one battle. But this Earthquake will finish him off. There we go. There are no more remaining Pokemon. Congratulations! You prevailed in the Kanto battle. Thank God we finally beat him. I was trying. Red alone took an hour to beat. It took me a real life hour just fighting this guy over and over. I'm not looking forward to editing this. <laughs> But we got him. We got him. That's the important thing. And with that, we have cleared the Gym Leader Castle.